Hi, welcome to cbscelabs.com. In this section, we learn how to solve the given equations involving the fractions. Here, there are uh, two cases arises. Case one is if the numerical coefficients of variables are fractions this is case 1 and the case 2 is case 2 is if the variables are in the denominators let first uh, discuss uh, the case one now discussion about case one here uh, two steps are involved the step one is remove the fractions by multiplying both sides of equations by corresponding LCM of the numbers in the denominator the second step is solve the obtained equation by elimination or substitution method that is for solving the equations which are having numerical coefficients of variables or fractions we follow these two steps two steps first step is first we have to remove the fractions in the equations by multiplying both sides of the equations by corresponding LCM of the numbers in the denominator and the second step is uh, then obtained equations are solved by using elimination or substitution method now let us take the example now let us uh, discuss the method by taking some suitable example Consider the equations x by 3 plus y by 2 is equal to 6 and 2x minus 3y equal to 12. Now we have to solve the equations. Here the given equations are x by 3 plus y by 2 equal to 6 that this is be equation 1 and the other equation is 2x minus 3y is equal to 12 let this is equation 2 in first equation we have the fractions of 1 by 3 and 1 by 2 are the coefficients of variables so we have to remove these fractions 1 by 3 and 1 by 2 by multiplying the equation 1 by a number which is the LCM of the denominators 3 and 2 here the LCM of 
थ्री एंड टू विच आर डिनोमिनेटर्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्स सो वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई इक्वेशन वन बाय सिक्स ऑन बोथ साइड्स वी गेट सिक्स इंटू एक्स बाई थ्री प्लस सिक्स इंटू वाई बाय टू इज इक्वल टू सिक्स इंटू सिक्स नाउ दिस थ्री कैंसिल सिक्स टू टाइम्स एंड दिस टू कैंसिल सिक्स इन थ्री टाइम्स फाइनली वी गेट टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स लेट दिस इज बी इक्वेशन थ्री नाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व द इक्वेशन टू एंड थ्री फ्रॉम टू एंड थ्री वी हैव टू एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व विच इज इक्वेशन टू एंड द इक्वेशन थ्री इज टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स दिस इज इक्वेशन टू एंड दिस इज इक्वेशन थ्री नो बाय एडिंग द अबो टू इक्वेशंस दिस माइनस थ्री वाई प्लस थ्री वाई गेट कैंसिल्ड एंड दिस टू एक्स प्लस दिस टू एक्स we get 4x is equal to 12 plus 36 which is equal to 48 finally we get x is equal to 12 now put x is equal to 12 in equation 3 we get we get 2 into 12 plus 3y is equal to 36. 2 into 12 equal to 24 plus 3y equal to 36, which implies 3y is equal to 36 minus 24, which implies 3y equal to 12. Finally, we get y is equal to 4. Therefore, solution is. x is equal to 12 and y is equal to 4 now let us uh, discuss the case 2 the case 2 is if the variables are in the denominators Now let discuss the method by taking suitable equations. Now solve the equations seven by x plus eight by y equal to two and two by x plus twelve by y equal to twenty. Here these two equations. are having the variables x and y in the denominators so first we have to take 1 by x as a and 1 by y as b then the given two equations are converted to 7a plus 8b is equal to 2 let this is be equation 1 and 2a Plus 12b is equal to 20. Let this is be equation two. Now we have to solve the equations uh, one and two. For this, uh, we have to multiply the equation one with uh, two and the equation two with seven. First, multiply equation one with two. That implies. 14a plus 16b is equal to 4. Let this is be equation 3. And next uh, we have to multiply equation 2 with 7. Then we get 14a plus 84b 
is equal to 140 let this is equation 4 now we have to subtract equation 4 from the equation 3 then we get 14a plus 16b minus of whole 14a plus 84b is equal to 4 minus 140 which implies 14a plus 16b minus 14a minus 84b is equal to 4 minus 140 which is equal to minus 136 now this plus 14a and this minus 14a get cancelled and 16b minus 84b equal to minus 68b equal to minus 136 which implies b is equal to minus 136 by minus 68 this minus cancelled this minus and 136 by 68 gives 2 therefore we obtain b is equal to 2 now put the value of b in equation 3 we get 7a plus 8 into 2 is equal to 2 that is 7a plus 16 equal to 2 which implies 7a equal to 2 minus 16 which implies 7a equal to minus 14 and a is equal to minus 14 by 7 now this 7 cancel 14 2 times therefore we get a is equal to minus 2 since we have 1 by x is equal to a we have to put the value of a is equal to minus 2 in this we get 1 by x is equal to minus 2 and by cross multiplication we get x is equal to minus 1 by 2 similarly since uh, b is equal to 1 by y here we obtain the value of b is equal to 2 now put b is equal to in the above we get 2 is equal to 1 by y by cross multiplication we get y is equal to 1 by 2 therefore x is equal to minus 1 by 2 and y is equal to plus 1 by 2 is a solution is a solution for the given equations now this finishes the section and I hope that you can understand